If you are a student who is considering studying computer science, a computer science student who is struggling with the future direction, a person who wants to self-learn computer science, or a person who is just interested in it, this video is perfect for you. In this series, I'm going to share my knowledge of computer science, and in this first video, I will give you an overview of the topics in computer science. Talking about computer science, some may think of hackers who break into the systems of big organizations, and developers who create apps like Facebook. But before that, we need computer scientists who work on the foundations of computers. Most of the work in CS is about instructing the computers to do the things we want them to do. However, most computers can only read binary numbers, which are series of 0 and 1. Therefore, the instructions we give to computers also need to be in binary form. These instructions are called machine code because they can be understood by machines but not humans easily. However, it is difficult for humans to understand or write machine code. Therefore, we need compilers or interpreters to translate instructions that can be understood by humans more easily to machine code. We use languages like English to communicate in daily life, but English is difficult to translate into machine code. Therefore, we created programming languages. Computer scientists develop languages that are efficient for computers to execute and programmers to code. Languages that are close to machine codes are low-level languages while those that provide more abstractions are high-level languages. Usually, programs written in low-level languages can be executed by computers more efficiently, but written by humans with more difficulty. We, computer users, always want computers to do multiple things at the same time and want them to finish quickly. However, no users teach them how to handle several tasks efficiently. That's why scheduling algorithms, which are part of the operating system, are important. What it does is just like solving this problem. We have two hands and one mouth. How can you eat a piece of bread and drink a cup of water quickly? You can use both hands to grab the bread and eat it. After eating it, you use both hands to grab the water and drink it. Another way which I think is faster is, you use one hand to grab the bread and use the other hand to grab the water. You eat a bite of bread and then drink the water to swallow the bread. You repeat this process until the bread and water are eaten. What scheduling algorithms in the OS do are just like that. But the mouth is the CPU, the hands are the RAM, and the food is the tasks. The OS is responsible for many more tasks and they are still evolving. Originally, computers were built as standalone machines for doing arithmetic. But nowadays, computers can do many more things with the internet. Communication between billions of devices is not as easy as talking to the person next to you. Data needs to travel through dozens of nodes to travel to the destination, and network architects have done a lot of work to make this process can be done in a second. For example, we need routing algorithms to direct the data to be sent from the senders to the receiver. We need protocols to handle cases of packet loss and security issues. While computers are capable for doing more things, hackers can also do more things by exploiting the weakness in computer systems. Hackers originally mean computer technology enthusiasts. But later, they refer to people who use computers for malicious purposes. By looking for vulnerabilities in the OS, network, or by other means, hackers can do many things like stealing data. On the other hand, cybersecurity specialists use their skills to protect the system from hacking. With the base ready, we can develop applications for different purposes. By writing codes, software engineers can develop desktop applications like Photoshop, web application like Facebook, and mobile application like WhatsApp. A special type of software developer is game developer. Developing games and other software are similar, but usually games require more complex graphics and user interactions, making the skills of game development slightly different. Up to this stage, computers are mainly used for solving tasks that do not require intelligence. Artificial intelligence researchers are people who empower computers to solve many complex tasks such as classifying images, playing chess, chatting with humans, composing songs, and drawing pictures. The techniques used in AI programs are usually based on many mathematical concepts. In particular, machine learning is a useful technology in which programmers no longer instruct computers directly. Instead, programmers teach computers to learn from data to perform tasks for unseen data. AI can solve many problems, but sometimes we need entities to perform tasks in the real world. Therefore, we build robots. Building robots requires skills in several disciplines. For example, mechanical engineers are required for building the body of robots. Computer engineers are required for building the nerves. And computer scientists program the brain of the robots. 
With all the components, the brain of robots can send signals to the body through the nerves to perform many actions. As computers are built for doing arithmetic, it is natural to use them for scientific studies, which require complex calculations. That's what we call the scientific computing. Apart from calculations, computers can simulate scientific phenomena to help scientists understand the subject. Using computers for science is scientific computing, while using computers in finance is financial technology. Data mining, blockchain, and cryptocurrencies are all hot topics in this field. As the cost of storage has decreased, more data can be stored and analyzed. Everything from historical stock price to time you spend on YouTube every day can be stored as data. Many data may look useless, but patterns reflecting ways to solve many problems may be hidden in the data. Data scientists are people who collect, process, and analyze data. They deal with large amounts of data efficiently. Calculation tools, visualization tools, and machine learning programs may be used on top of the statistical theories. So computers can calculate much faster than humans. Many problems are still computationally invisible. Trillions of years may be required for the fastest classical computers to calculate the results. However, with quantum computers, some of those problems can be solved much faster, and the study of quantum computers and their algorithms is quantum computing. There are much more topics in computer science, but it's hard to cover all of them in a video. I'm not an expert in most fields, so please leave your comments below if you have something to add or justify. Please like and subscribe if you find this video interesting. In the next video, I will talk about how to systematically self-learn computer science to a degree level. See you in the next video.